Okay, so here we are. We're with Conrad, uh, one of our, our latest uh, happy clients. Uh, we did a deal uh, to close out 2020. And uh, thank you so much for joining us, Conrad. Hey, hi, how's it going, Lance? Good to see you again. Always, always. Well, we'll keep this short and sweet. Uh, tell us, you know, first off, tell us how you found the home buying guys. So I um, uh, did the search, I did a, a, a Google search on um, purchasing uh, purchasing properties for cash. You know, there's a bunch that showed up. And what I did was I went through and looked for the, looked for the one that, uh, the first ones that showed up, um, I, I looked through until I found one that had good ratings. And that's the first one I called. Wonderful. Well, I remember taking your call. It was the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, we were able to, uh, actually, I spoke to your dad first, um, I feel like, didn't I? Yeah, you spoke to my dad first. Um, I told him that, I told him what was coming. I said that I'm going to just call a couple. Right. Uh, I'm going to start with um, the one one with the, the, the first, you're the first one I called, and then I called one more, and then I right. sat back to see the response. Um, he, he can take calls all day. I couldn't take all those calls. I didn't really right. realize the volume of calls that would start coming in. And uh, yeah, um, so yeah, you spoke to him first and then he diverted uh, you to me. Very cool. So we had a great conversation. Um, you know, I felt like I kind of had a connection with you the first time we spoke. And then, uh, but tell us, you know, your, your situation was pretty unique. So you, it was the, your, your late brother's estate. Uh, the house had been lived in by a family member for a couple of years. Um, you guys were just ready to, to, you know, basically wash your hands of it and kind of just kind of move it on to the next person. And, um, you know, so walk, kind of walk us through the uh, state scenario, you know, without being too detailed, but just how we helped and, and what we're able to do for you. Yeah. So um, never encountered any issue. No, anything like this before. And yes, this was my brother's estate. Um, my cousin was living with him at the time. And um, it was okay at first. We didn't really realize um, that we had a time frame in order to get his, get um, the house in his estate. I get the house out of his name in, in an estate since he had passed. Um, so, we hired a lawyer to do that before the before the four year period was up, not knowing ahead not knowing ahead of time that, that all that could have been handled right. through you. But right. you let us you let us know that fact um, after we spoke. But yeah, you helped me navigate through um, pretty much everything that the what the attorney was doing and what to expect next even though we did um hire attorney you know yeah. hindsight it, it, it did uh, it, it, help, it did help that y'all had done that because you know there was a previous marriage and there was a lot of things y'all worked out that it would you know I, I was able to pick up a lot of the pieces and would have been but in terms of having the quick deed already transferred over into the estate's name you know you guys had done all your paperwork and due diligence so that made it really easy uh, and y'all guys wanted you got you want you wanted to close pretty quickly. I think we, you know, we talked Thanksgiving and we ended up closing, you know, within the next 30 days. So uh, one of the things I want to highlight on this review, uh, you know, we had a deal. We talked about a number. You loved the number. You shopped it. You told you got your brothers and your dad in in in, uh, in the loop on it. And then and then out of nowhere, we got a really big number from another competitor that you know i i knew was a bit false but i had to kind of walk you through that without sounding like a sore loser you know uh so tell us a little bit about the first offer that the, the from the company that gave you an offer that and then how it changed and, and how quickly it changed yeah so you um you actually gave us the first offer right but then the then, then the next um person came with a offer that was um, significantly higher. Yep. And so 
I was like, well, it would be it would be silly of me not to investigate. For sure. So um, this is after you sent over sent over the um, sent over the deal. Um, hers was significantly theirs was significantly higher. So you know, I, I just um, uh, talked over it with you about it just to make sure that, you know, for my thinking that it was too good to be true. Right. And, um, you know, you pretty much told me that after we met her um, at the house and um, that she would start chipping away at the offer. And, and yeah, you told me that ahead of time. I said, okay, well, um, We'll see first, right? We'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see what she does. And then sure enough, that's that's what she did. And there was some other verbiage um, in the offer that that you pointed out to us that didn't really didn't really sit well with us um, after we talked about it. Yeah. Um and, and it was substantial. The, I mean, she and she, you know, the, the, the lady came in after she saw the house, so they, they hooked you, they sent a contract with a big number. Then after they saw the contract, they didn't. They didn't. Or I'm sorry. If they saw the house, they they reduced their number by fifteen thousand, and then asked for, and then asked for a very long option period. So um, that's something that that we run into a lot, and we sometimes we lose out because we give people our honest opinion up front. You know, I came and looked at the house, gave you my number, uh, and then from there, you know, you negotiated me up a little bit, which is fine. That's just part of business, and mm -hmm. uh, and we move forward. You know, and so. That was one thing I'm really proud of on on our transaction, not just meeting you and making a new friend, but you know, you you took the time, you and your brothers, to to really understand where I was coming from. You understood the authenticity of our offer; it wasn't going to change. We were going to close at that number, and we did. And um, and so it was a you know it was a, a awesome transaction. And and uh, you know the house yes, was in Plano, so this is where everyone wants deals. You know, so it was it was one that we were really happy to win, and and I think it's a win for everyone. So. Last question, man. I told you this wouldn't take long. You know, you know, this is a competitive market. Obviously, it's really it's based on reviews. So we're so happy you're you're here to give us give us a positive one. You know, but would you would you recommend the home buying guys to to other people seeing this or friends and family? Uh, for sure, for sure. Um, mainly because of the uh, communication. You know, I didn't have to go to a bunch of other people to talk to the. Um, actually the people who are actually doing the work. Right. So, um, yeah, it's just two of you guys and um, you're the contact person. Um, I could get you whenever, yep. um, early morning to, to late at night, um, very responsive. Didn't have to wait long for a text or a callback. Um, big on communication um, and um, big, on, big on their word. Um, they say they're gonna do something, they do it. Um, so yeah, very happy to, um, uh, you know, like you said, not just uh, make a deal, but uh, you know, we have things in common. Both kids are around the same age yep. in baseball, so you got you yeah, got youth yeah. sports in common. We love that baseball, so we'll be seeing each other on the on the ball field. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, very overall, very happy with um, uh, with the way things went and the ease of the transaction didn't i mean all i had to do basically was was um uh, meet him meet you at the house and um look over some paperwork just get access to the house that's all i had to do yep. everything else was Take done yeah everything else was done and and done done very quickly wonderful yeah, well that's what we do and we're we're thankful for every one of our clients. And, you know, we always, you know, not every deal is for us, right? There's some people that won't give us the opportunity to, to, to really be honest. There's no people, they don't want to hear it. They've been, they've been burned before, or they don't quite trust the scenario, or they just think things are sometimes a little too good to be true. And some people in our industry, you know, maybe not do it, don't do it to the level that we do. And maybe they've experienced that. And so it takes, you know, you, your, your, your whole family, including yourself was a class act it was easy to work with. And, and when, when, you know, it's a team effort and we got the deal done. We talked the week before Thanksgiving and we closed the week before Christmas. And uh, yeah. So uh, we're just so thankful for you. Thanks for hopping on here and uh, yeah, we'll get you going, man. Thank you so much, Conrad. 
All right. Appreciate it, Lance. And uh, we'll be talking soon. Let's go. See you, man. All right. Talk to you later.